to a new Harry's garage and this one I'm in the project 8 and I'm just coming up to the Goodwood motor circuit and I'm on a mission motorsports event here uh, today and I've done one with mission motorsport here before and I kicked myself for not bringing the cameras because it's a fantastic day it's not your average track day at all there's a great mix of cars here but the whole idea of the event is to introduce um, injured servicemen, this is what Mission Motorsport are about, injured servicemen, just to engage with them, get them talking, and Mission Motorsport is all about changing um, their, their roles after they've come out of the services, how they can get them jobs in the industry and stuff. I think they were saying last night, um, James Cameron who heads it up, they managed to get a thousand injured personnel into Jaguar Land Rover um, already. They hope to do it by 2020, they've already done it. So it's a, it's a really fascinating day because you get to meet them, you hear their stories, and you also get out on track with a fantastic mix of cars. There's everything here. There's, there'll be early Bugattis, there'll be, there'll be race cars, there'll be road cars. And it's, it's just a fun day. So I, I wanted you to come along and just see what it's all about. And in the Project 8, you know, I have this love hate, oh, I'm about to, an official is gonna ask me some things. I'm gonna have to break off. Yeah, so there's all sorts here, and it's great because there's a mix of cars out on track as well. And it's an open check day, and there's a man with a microphone down there. Yeah, I can't so remember. So just take it to your rev limit. Yeah, wherever it is. Go for it. Yeah. 4,000 RPM. Okay. 85. 85. Oh, it's a little shopping cart. <laughs> there we go. Thank Bye. you. Well, there we are. Looks like I've got the sticker. I'm on a track. And somewhere there will be a little hidey hole with my name on it. Sometimes I'm up here, and I don't know where I am. Hello. There I am. Thank you. Ooh, what we got there? RS6. R24, McLaren. 675 Spider. Yeah, there's some serious stuff here. There's even, I think I saw on the list, if I can find my spot, there's even a McLaren F1, which I'm really looking forward to seeing out on track. Anyway, we're going to get signed on, and I will see you later. I'll try. I haven't tried. It's just use it in auto mode, and just see how it behaves, because it will do the gear changes and it learns yeah. the track and stuff. into the tyres. This is a double apex, has a funny feel because you think you're around it and then it does it again here. All right, there's the microphone. in auto. another noise thing here so I've got to be careful here as well.
the it's like a 959, I think it is. Sorry? It's the 959, isn't it? And the McLaren. My goodness, look at that. That's a rare sight at a track day. My goodness me. Now we've got the McLaren. Well, that is extraordinary. Whoa. He's slowing down a lot more than I am. <laughs> well, at least we get to hear it. Wow, we. Look at that active spoiler. That was so advanced. You never saw anything do that. I don't know whether to follow it or not. What should I follow it or what should I do? I think I will. It's not every day. Oh, flames! Fantastic. It takes a different line to me. Yeah, he's, he's, he's avoiding the... Oh, look at the flames again. He's very, he's very noisy. Yeah, he was about a... Well, I, don't, I shouldn't say what he was, static, but I think he was over the limit. But, yeah, I'm just going to have a little follow of this. That's a bit special. special. Well, I can go home now, I think, after seeing that. I just letting the project have a little bit of cool down time and uh, having a wander around the paddock. And I had to stop by the McLaren F1, just talking to the owner. I mean, it's, it was lovely to see that car on track and the flames, etc. He's done one or two little mods to it as well. And uh, we just opened up the back so we can have a closer look. So actually, it does have a sports exhaust on this um, McLaren F1. Um, it was well past the 105 um, static decibel test unfortunately and out on track I think it tripped a few sound meters and part of the reason why is because it's got the most mega sports exhaust on it just look at this just love the art in this titanium exhaust I mean, it's like Zonda levels I've never seen this on a McLaren look quite as good as this just wonderful and just obviously the detail every time you look at McLaren you just you can't get enough of it absolutely wonderful to see the inside Titanium exhaust coming off, so simple. It might be however many years old now, but uh, it really doesn't disappoint. Just great to see. He's also fitted a uh, Le Mans seat, so a bit more wrap round seat as you can see in there. It's not the standard seat. An absolute treat to see this. I think handling wise, it, 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 the thing about the McLaren, the standard McLaren F1 like this, it was a road car, so there's a little bit more roll than you might expect when you take it on track. And also, it's it's just those tall tyres. You never notice it on road, but um, it's a little different on track. But fabulous, absolutely fabulous. That was my absolutely made my day seeing that and be able to follow it round on track. Oh, good. Right, we're all right. We're all right. We're away. Yeah, we're off. Yeah, double apex. Yeah, it's a bit different to a radical. I've got to change down. There's a, there's a microphone there. That I don't want to upset. I'm changing my mind. I don't want a radical now. <laughs> 
It is, isn't it? It shouldn't do what it does. No, no. I know. Let's put that one on as well. It's quite fun. And from a standing start as well, that was just... Yeah, it's just, it's just easy, isn't it? Yeah. sound as well. I like the sound as well. It's a real deep bellow, it's distinctive. It's like nothing else. Because they were saying there, like they said, a lot of the RS is like it's, it's, um, it's pumped in, isn't it? It's not Yes, built. this is, well this normally, you know, a supercharger means you can have proper sound. I should put the brake graph on for you, actually. Oh, so you can see I'm not actually using all the braking. That's all I just wanted to show you on there. Yeah. Mad, isn't it? This is amazing. It's just not what people expect. This is, this is an amazing, amazing car. The next time my other half says Jake's are old men car, <laughs> you won't, I'm going to tell her yeah, about this. Look at this. Say, right, you won't say that after this. No. I'm, just let, I'm not meant to overtake up here. I won't tell anyone if no, you No, I'll just. on the exit of here. Do you race then, dear? No, I don't actually. Not, don't, never really had an interest in doing it. I did a few hill climbs. Um, but that was it. Can really, this, yeah. is a, this is amazing. I have to be quiet there, so that's not full craziness. Is this as quick as the um, the Type F? Uh, oh yeah, yeah, yeah. This is a fair bit quicker, way, really. Because um, um, I drove the Type F round here, the AWD. Oh, oh right. That was yeah. So quite like, shocking, aren't they? Yeah. Those. Yeah. <laughs> In, instant smile producers. Yes. As I call them. Which is what, what's been happening this morning. I'm getting a bit of jaw right now because <laughs> I'm just permanently sort of grinning and smiling all bloody day. So what have you been in? Say again. What uh, have you been in? GT3. Oh, have you? Yeah, I managed to get in that before they all saw that I had a quick neck. So I got in quickly and we right. drove off. Right. What's, what's, what, what's the in Have you got an injury then? And mine's all mental. Uh -huh. Yeah, yeah, I'm not going to kill you nothing. You no, know. that's good. That's really good to hear. <laughs> I'm not going to jump out the no. car halfway round screaming bands on. No. <laughs> I leave this on just so you can see where I'm using throttle and brakes. The bit that I'm still amazed by by this car is how much braking capacity. We're going quite quick down the back straight, but you'll see I'm only using like half brakes. Because it's quite extraordinary. Oh, so when it goes all the way up, it's on full? Yeah, so when I'm pressing, you can see how much I'm pressing and then you'll see me at full throttle as well, which is now. <laughs> Thank you. 
That's crazy, isn't it? Absolutely nuts. to overtake them up, up to this next corner, so we'll do it all on the straight. No, it's fine. So let's just put that one on. This um, RS6. Oh, there it is. It says it on the back. <laughs> yes, I've just been out in that. That's quite a lump to get around the circuit oh, as well. Is. Not as quick as this. No. That's crazy, isn't it? Well, I've just had my last run of the day. Um, what an ace day that's been. It always is this Mission Motorsport event. Uh, it's just the different characters uh, you meet here and these inspirational uh, stories of these guys who've um, had, unfortunately had to leave the army due to injuries and, and just hearing the backstory and how they get engaged in industry later and how Mission Motorsport um, find them jobs. I mean, it's a great, it's a great thing to support and I yeah, just really enjoy it. And also the, the guys you meet here, the people who help out and those cars you see. I mean, have a McLaren F1, the chance to ride in out. No wonder the, um, all these uh, guys come down here, have go around um, a Goodwood track hugely enjoyed it. I think you've enjoyed it as well, just seeing what the Project 8 is like on track, how it just monsters everything. I'm six months in, nearly 7,000 miles into this car, and I'm loving it to bits, and it's used, you know, it's got enough power to make four-wheel drive very interesting, shall we say, out on track, and it just demolishes the really quick stuff here as well. Really trustworthy, I love those brakes, etc. There you go. Hope you have enjoyed this video. If you have, keep watching, keep subscribing. More videos coming along very soon.